Alright, what is going on my dude? So just a few days ago, I took Apocalypse from rank 1 all the way to rank 3. It cost a lot of gold, it cost a lot of catalysts, it cost a lot of ISO, and guess what boys and girls? We're gonna be doing it again today with our friend Professor X. Now, this one... It's going to be a bit of a struggle because, like I said, I used a lot of Mutant Iso on the way from taking Apocalypse from rank 1 to rank 3. So, we're going to see what happens today. Because I don't have too much Mutant Iso left. I guess we'll start with the Mutant Iso. As you can see, only 93 bricks available. Only 36 more. This might be enough to get us close to level 25. This might be a struggle today. This might be a struggle today. But we're going to do it, and it's going to be worth it because it's freaking Professor X, man. One of the best mutants in the game. This guy has to be at rank 3, and he has to be at rank 3 today. So the way we're going to get this guy up is we're going to rank him up naturally, right, to rank 2. And then I still have two more of those uh, 2 to 3 rank up gems from the, from the deals this weekend. And we're going to be putting one of those into him, even though I have two class catalysts, right? I'm going to save those class catalysts for now because there are always mutants I could put those into. There's also Kitty Pride coming up, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save some of those and use one of the 2 to 3s. Um, also, because I want to save some... Uh, mutant T4CC as well, but as you can see we're now out of ISO of the mutant class So I think what we're gonna do here is we're gonna work through oh god Some of this expiring ISO. We'll get some of this basic tier 6 ISO Which I have quite a bit of don't even know where it came from and see how far this gets us All right, it looks like we're almost at the top level of rank 2 So this might not be as bad as I thought now it's gonna start being a bloodbath I'm going to just claim max the top and see what happens, man. Level 35, the best part is coming up right now. Professor X is now at rank 3. Oh, feels so good to have him at rank 3. I really like Professor X quite a bit. I've always liked Professor X quite a bit. When the Grandmaster Gauntlet came around, I actually used my 5-star Professor X in the Grandmaster's Gauntlet while I was watching all my friends do it with their 6-star Rank 3 Professor X, and I was like, man, I was watching people use their Professor X and their Apocalypse all at Rank 3, and I was having some major FOMO watching this. And now, man, the next time there's some big content coming around, I have my big boy mutants up at rank 3, both Apocalypse and Professor X. Uh, but, oh, look at this tier 6. That's ah, okay, we'll throw it in there. It's costing a lot of gold, but that's okay. Um, so one thing I find kind of funny about Professor X is that he makes the mutant class so much more suicide friendly, but even still, he's not the most suicide friendly champ himself, you know? Um, so that's always been an interesting kind of relationship. For me, you know, I wish that that synergy with Colossus was active on Professor X so he could heal from the poison as well. But yeah, so Professor X is an absolute freaking beast. He is like, in my opinion, the absolute king of long form content, stuff like Abyss, Labyrinth, Gauntlet. It's just his playground, man, where his prowess can just keep going up and up and up and his special attack damage go up and up and up. And if you put a mutant power boost on, you could just literally just change special twos for days, man. Absolutely crazy. This guy is going to be a beast in Alliance War 2. I don't know if I'm going to ever use him in war, but with like a mutant power boost, he'll be an absolute monster in war. There's no doubt about it. So now let's see where he is. Oh, he's on the top row. Oh man. Look at the mutants now, man, with Apocalypse and Professor X. We got to get those stars a little bit more shiny, but that'll happen one day, hopefully looking stacked and this guy is a great addition so yeah time to throw in some gameplay here man so let's just freaking jump right into it all right man it is time to jump right in today and i am so excited to show you all the gameplay i'm about to show you i already recorded lots of really cool stuff here so let's talk about some synergies first here so first things first um professor x doesn't need synergies uh he he doesn't he's amazing on his own he's slightly better with some team building of course um but there's really nothing that he needs in fact you know half the 
more than half, I don't even know the amount, but a lot of the fights in this video is going to be completely synergy list. But you get five, uh, you know, slots on the team, right? So what I brought along here was Guardian for some extra block proficiency. But at the end of the day, Professor X has really good block proficiency. So this is kind of just making his really good block proficiency even more OP. Um, Apocalypse is here for the horseman ability, which is nice, makes him 100% resistant to bleed if you're running the suicide masteries, so makes him a little bit more suicide friendly. Um, and then we have White Magneto as well, you know, gives you the passive stun at the start of the fight, so that's a really good synergy for him. And I do believe it makes his prowess as 20% longer, which is nice, but again, you do not need it. And technically, Hercules gives a synergy to all uh, hero champions when you run the Liquid Courage Mastery for a plus 15% attack, so that is nice to have as well. Um, so yeah, but what is going to be so special here is if you've never seen the interaction between Professor X and a mutant power boost, you are in for a treat today in this video. We're going to do a few fights with that first, um, and it's just absolutely spectacular, okay? So this is going to be no boosts aside from the 200% mutant boost I'm going to throw on. This was my first and only attempt at this fight. As you can see, I'm going in, I'm putting all the pre-fights on, I'm putting the boosts on, right? What makes, you know this so strong here first of all first and foremost well we'll talk about it in a second but the special three we keep in mind professor x is ramped up this is what makes his ramp so good for himself that a special three you gain a nice 60 percent prowess per cerebro charge so when you have four of them that's a really strong 240 percent prowess right so uh, you get through three fights prior and then you're fully ramped up you don't even need to be ramped up in fact every other fight in this video is going to be completely unramped professor x but this is going to show you just the two 240% attack on the special three combined with the mind control not using all of your power and the mutant power boost how overpowered this can be keep in mind you could even make this better by throwing mr fantastic and storm on the team however i felt that these synergies would be better and you'll see that that would literally be useless so um yeah let's jump right in Let's start doing some fights, man. We'll talk about Professor X, how he works as we go along, okay? But let's just watch a crazy fight. Now, I'm going to tell you first and foremost to you that this video right here, this fight is going to get its own separate video too. So I don't know if I'm uploading it first or if I'm uploading this first. Probably gonna do this one first, but you may see this video twice. Um, I just think it warrants its own video, man, because this is just one of the craziest fights I've ever done in MCOC. I have fought the champion with many different, many different uh, attackers, you know, on my channel before. This one might just be the most insane. So first things first, man, Professor X's falter mechanic is incredible. Uh, as you can see, I just ate like a full combo and hit him while he was unstoppable with my heavy attack all while the falter lasted. It's a very, very incredible mechanic. It comes around every 20 seconds. You can make it go faster when you dex, okay? Now, I'm at my 100 charges here. That's, that's pretty much where you wanna be at. Now, when you're fully ramped and you go for the special three, okay, you usually, usually are going to be at, a you know, a little over two bars of power. But with the mutant power booster, watch this we're going to heavy first to channel okay and then cancel into a special three so we can gain an additional prowess so now we just have five prowesses okay so now we're gonna go for the special three here we're going to be using three bars of power to use the special three watch his power Uh, so we're going for another special three here. And then after the second special three, I think we're going to go for a third one right away. And keep in mind that we can be gaining more prowess here by going for a heavy attack before all of these special threes. However, I, I just don't really see it to be necessary at this point. Just for good measure, let's go for one more special three as well. Uh, I just feel like, you know, the, the first three special threes didn't kill him off. So we might as well go for the fourth one here and just kind of uh, finish off the job against this guy and just you know flush him down the toilet put him down to 10 percent now we're into the part here that i usually find to be the easiest however with professor x he's quite the small champion and his animations are kind of to himself like his light attack doesn't make him move so it, it was kind of hard for me to get near <laughs> the champion for these dexes um it's always easier when you have like a medium or large size champion well i think professor x is technically a hashtag medium champion but his build is very small um but yeah so let's see we got um can we get a prowess here nope 
No, we did not. So yeah, so obviously, like I said, this part is usually the easiest part for me. However, in this specific fight, the first 90%, that was probably the easiest 90% I've ever had against this guy. I literally didn't even have to do anything. Um, I just hit the special three button four times. That's it. Built to a special three. That was that was the hard part, building to a special three. Anybody can do that. Anybody can do this. Build to a special three, hit the special button. That's it. That's it. And then this is going to be it right here. Special three is going to end it. So that was absolutely insane. Like I said, I'm going to make this its own video. I'm probably going to call it like Professor X kills the champion by doing literally nothing because that's what he does. That's absolutely insane. So obviously, man, I don't think I need to explain to you how if he can do this against the 6.2 champion, he can do this against like almost any fight in the entire game with this size health pool, right? You understand how like ridiculously overpowered that is like Alliance War, Alliance Quest, any of this content with like 500,000 health pool, you get to a special three, you have a mutant power boost on, you're fully ramped up, the fight's over. That's just kind of how it is. So almost any boss in Act 6, Act 7, he could do this too, unless the nodes restrict him from taking the fight, right? I don't know what the heck, was that a line, line app? What the heck was that? Where did that come from? So yeah, um, I'll show you, I want to show you what it looks like now if you go into a 550,000 health pool with the 200% mutant boost on, absolutely no synergies, not ramped up, uh, the suicide masteries will be on, but I'm going to show you still what this could look like, okay? Um, going for this, a similar type of rotation. And like I said, you know, Professor X was ramped. He had that additional prowess from Apocalypse as well. Um, Magneto, Magneto X made the prowess on uh, the Horseman ability a little bit more potent. So there was some additional attack there going on. We also had, you know, Hercules for plus 15%, right? And we, you know, keep in mind, we're not ramped here. So if we were ramped, it would look exactly the same. And if we had that synergy team as well, uh, going into the first fight as a horseman with all that additional juice. Yeah, it might look the same, but who knows, man. You can't always have the full synergy team, right? And you also can't always use a mutant power boost as well. But let's say you're going into like a boss fight, right? And you want to bring in your Professor X and you want to use a mutant power boost just to see. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to go for the heavy charge into the special three and we're going to see what the power looks like on the 550,000 health pool against Winter Soldier to see how much power we get back, okay? Um, so yeah, keep in mind, we're just getting plus 60% attack from this special three on the prowess, right? Plus the prowess from the heavy cancel, okay? Now we're going to go for a special two. Now what I like to do is cancel into a heavy attack and then go for a special two like that. So what this is doing right here, okay, the way that Professor X builds prowess, by the way, so... It's kind of it's complicated it's kind of complicated to explain on the fly so he gains prowess right by using a special attack there's so many let, let me try and figure out how i want to say this okay so he gains prowess in a bunch of different ways and i'm just going to explain some of those ways he channels essentially right he channels after a special attack and while holding a heavy attack and when you cancel that heavy attack with a special attack or when you cancel the channeling after the special attack with a heavy or a light attack or a block, you gain prowess that way, okay? Now you refresh all this prowess by dashing back while you're channeling after a special attack. This probably sounds so confusing, so if you don't understand it, I really highly recommend you read through his abilities because this is one of those champions where you're not going to understand the first second that someone explains it to you. Um, you have to actually watch it and you have to read along and you have to try it yourself. So the way I always recommend playing Professor X is holding the heavy attack to start channeling and canceling that heavy with a special attack and then canceling the channel after the special attack with a heavy attack. So I personally usually go heavy, special, heavy, special, heavy, special is essentially how I play him. And then when I need to refresh, I refresh. And if I have to gain charges, I let him channel after the special attack for a little bit before refreshing. You'll see as we go along in this video, it sounds so much more complicated than it actually is, okay? But keep in mind, the mutant power boost here is pretty OP, even not ramped up at all. And at this point, I'm not even focusing on channeling. I'm just going right into my special attacks as you can see and that's it man and he's just he he nukes them down like absolutely like it's nothing it's crazy it really is crazy what he can do and it's not just small health pools where this is incredibly overpowered um we're gonna go up against labyrinth old man logan too with the 200 power boost on because i had it on and i was like what other content can we do with this power boost let's you know let, let's see it's pretty crazy so um it's really good pre-workout. So, 
Same, same thing here, unramped. Okay, unramped up, not ramped up. How do you want to say that? I don't know. Um, what what do you want to do is you want to get to your 100 charges. You can see those, those, those charges going up. You always want to get to 100. That's how you activate mind control with the special attack. You could technically do it, I think, above 50, but there's no point in doing that unless you really have to do it, okay? Um, while they're in mind control, they can't gain any power. They can't use special attacks. It is such an overpowered ability. It is so good. And at this point, we're going to go for the heavy attack, cancel into special three. Now, keep in mind, we have the 200% boost on. We don't have any other boosts on. So this is all just Professor X unramped. Okay, if he was ramped up, it would be a lot better. So we're gonna go for the special three here. And now we are here at our two bars of power. And keep in mind, the power that we gained back, you see how we even just get a little tiny baby bit of power, right? Because we have no prowess right now, essentially, okay? Also, another thing I've noticed in this update, man, many times in this video, you're, you're going to see, do you think that I intentionally right here wanted him to hit into me? I think it's here, watch. You think I wanted him to do this? No, I was spamming that special button, spamming it. So another really fun update, another fun bug in this update, apparently there's some uh, stickiness on the special button. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, this is the December build where this is happening. I've never noticed it before. Happened many, many times while recording these fights. <laughs> Happened right there too. See how I got hit? Because I'm telling you, I go heavy special right away. Um, so. Yeah, just watch out for that when you're, when you're doing fights, okay? Uh, so yeah, the point is, as we're building our prowess, our special two is obviously going to get bigger. Now, when our special two gets bigger, you can see we're gonna gain just a little bit more power every time. Ooh, a nice 50K crit on that. Now we're gonna dash back to refresh our prowess, go right in here for the special two. Ooh, and now we're starting to crit. And now we're starting to uh, do some good damage on our special twos. And look at all the power we are gaining back, man. Refresh our prowess, 12 prowesses. Now keep in mind, this is very important to know. Usually Professor X is not the number one most suicide friendly champion in the game, okay? When you're using these power back boosts, he becomes much more suicide friendly, much more suicide friendly. And obviously I love that, right? Um, so for long form content, like, Labyrinth, Abyss, Gauntlet, right? Where you're gonna be taking a lot of damage anyway. I like him with the uh, with the Suicide Masteries, but also he's very good for them without them. Oof, look at that beautiful crit. What a beautiful fight. Just demolish Old Man Logan. Now we're gonna do this fight again without Suicides, without boosts, without Synergies, without anything at the end of the video. But before we do that, we're gonna go into some act sticks. We're gonna go to a very tough lane, okay? This is Special Connoisseur. Connoisseur. The defender takes 90% reduced damage from all sources except special attacks activated while the attacker has an active prowess effect. Cornered clapback, those don't matter here. Um, the important thing is that we're only going to be doing damage on special attacks with the prowess. Now, obviously, Professor X is going to be the king of this node because all of his special attacks will have prowess, all right? Now, keep in mind, his basic attacks are like fine. You know, we've been doing some like decent crits on the heavies, but at the end of the day, all his damage comes from special attacks. That's where you really get your damage from, okay? Um, so you can pretty much like imagine this is almost any lane in the game that isn't super specific for, you know, against Professor X. You know, this is, he's gonna have a very similar performance that he has right here. So when you're playing Professor X, this is Professor X solely by himself. Um, this is no synergies whatsoever. Uh, no suicide masteries, no boosts, no, no anything. It's literally just Professor X, okay? Um, so this is a great way to go about it, of course. I like to go for the special three first to get that nice 60% prowess. Again, after a fight, 120%. After two fights, 180%. After three fights, 240%. At that point, it's a no-brainer. You don't always have to go for the special three, but I like it because it puts you at this much power afterwards. Check it out. Two bars of power, okay? This was another point where I didn't mean to get hit, by the way, my special attack got stuck. So yeah, as you can see, I'm channeling with the heavy attack and the canceling and the specials to go for more prowesses. That's how I like to do it. Now at this point, I'm going to hold it, build some charges and dash back. So now I have seven 
okay? I have seven prowesses after that. Now, you can go, you can start your rotation earlier if you want. You can go like when you're under three bars of power. You can go when you're just under two bars of power right there. Um, and you can just build more prowess with the special two or the special one. There's nothing wrong with that. After you go for the special three once in the fight, um, there's really no need to go for it again unless your prowess from that falls off. But here you can see we have eight prowess right now. And this is going to be the end of the fight right here. And yeah. So he can pretty much do this pretty much anywhere unless there are nodes like you know buffet um cowardice right nodes that are going to limit his special attack ability uh his power ability the ability to use special attacks uh his buffs stuff like that stuff that's going to um reduce like you know energy damage like was like i think it's high energy diet right there like so there's obviously nodes that counter this guy no doubt about it but if it's a node that professor x can do this is like what the performance you're going to see by him no suicides at rank three no boosts whatsoever which is really good and now we're gonna go again for old man logan there's some synergies here the only one actually is just the um attack boost from white from white magneto here just a little tiny like i think it's like eight percent attack or 10 or 15 percent attack whatever it is from the pre-fight um, but we're gonna have no suicides on um, Hercules Jabari and Black Panther were just there to get through Red Hulk um, for Black Panther so yeah we're gonna go in here and we're going to pretty much do this fight without the power boost the old-fashioned way all right and we're gonna just watch him build some prowess and see how his special attack scales as the fight goes along okay no horseman ability this time just professor x on his own just to show you how good he is for long form content i really like to do this heavy attack spam in the corner by the way his heavy attack kind of like launches him forward a little bit um which makes it really nice for chaining heavy attacks in the corner also when you use a heavy attack you gain 10 charges um at the end of the heavy attack so that's a really good way to go about doing that okay uh so yeah that's it's also you know you gain a lot of power at the heavy attack too so i definitely enjoyed that by the way you can also enter mind control by finishing your combo with a light attack that's important to note as well but here we're going to start building some prowess okay so we're not going to go for the special three yet we're going to build prowess here because the health pool is so high i want as much prowess as i can possibly get all right so that's what i'm doing here so you'll notice that sometimes, right, I gain the prowess when I go for the, you know, heavy attack into the special attack, and sometimes I don't. Um, I think it has to do with timing. I'm not the best Professor X player in the world. I think I'm pretty decent. I understand how he works, right? I understand how to use him effectively. Um, but the more you use him, the more you get the timing down, of course. Um, but yeah, the falter is really great once you get, you know, comfortable with that as well but when you spend the time to master this guy there's a lot he can do for you he's always going to be useful in the future for example like grandmaster's gauntlet that content that we had a few months ago he was the best champion for the grandmaster's gauntlet in my opinion um people were getting through it with professor x itemless revivalist right um one of the only champions who was doing that and he, it was just, it was pretty much just like his playground over the summer. So yeah, really good for that kind of content. We're going to see more content like that in the future. We're going to see more content like Abyss and Labyrinth in the future. He's absolutely amazing in Labyrinth, absolutely amazing in the Abyss. Um, so yeah, this type of content where Professor X's damage can just ramp higher and higher and higher and higher. That is where you want to use this guy. So as you can see, Old Man Logan's already down to 77%. We only have seven prowess right now. And he can just, his prowess just doesn't stop building, man. It goes up to like 100, I think, is like the limit. Maybe 99 is the limit, something like that. Not entirely sure. You're never going to need that much prowess, man. You're never going to need it. The thing is, his special two has burst damage at the end that goes up and scales with the amount of prowess that you have. So that's where so much of his damage comes from. And that's why his special two keeps ramping higher and higher as you go along throughout you know the fight and your prowess gets higher and higher and the best thing about that is how you use the special two and even without <laughs> even without the mutant power boost you're like back at another special two it's so crazy man it's absolutely insane what this guy does with his special attacks and his you know his uh his power bar and everything it's absolutely insane so another thing obviously i didn't even call out but there are nodes you know for example like power reserve where you only use half your power where you like quite literally don't lose any of your power man while you're while you're using your special attacks it is unbelievably overpowered man that's a note in war on the right side right on encroaching stun you can pretty much just get to 
your special two and just spam your unblockable special two over and over. Not even, I haven't even mentioned one time that all these special attacks, by the way, are freaking unblockable, man. So you're just throwing them wildly. This guy is just, he's so overpowered in so many ways. It's insane to me how they release Professor X and Apocalypse in the same month. And then a few months later, they released Psycho Man and Super Scroll in the same, like the, con the contrast between the Professor X and Apocalypse month and the Super Scroll and Psycho Man month is just, it's, it couldn't possibly be farther apart. It's crazy to me. It's crazy. To me. <laughs> That's why it's just so funny, man. When I, when I think about, when I think about this, absolutely insane. So yeah, um, Professor X and Apocalypse Man, the two of them together, I feel like they impacted the game stronger than any other champ month you know duo has ever in the past so now we're finally going to go for the special three here i built a lot of prowess going to gain a big prowess now going to gain plus 60 percent attack damage uh special attack damage which is great to have but yeah as you can see this fight is definitely taking longer than the mutant power boost one mainly because you don't have as many special twos that's just kind of how it is um you know when you were when i was fighting him with the mutant power booster i gained more special twos so i had more opportunity to gain more prowess and then i gained you know more burst damage and that's pretty much how it went so i'm I I have more prowess in this fight i'm up to 24 prowess which is really good a lot of attack damage right it only scales higher and higher and higher um but my main idea while going for this fight was just kind of safety right um i just wanted to go about it safely not take too many hits don't get hit right and i'm not going to intentionally use the falter here i'm going to keep it as a fail safe which is really nice to have okay and now at this point i'm I feel like i'm getting close to ending the fight here he's at 20 percent health i have 24 prowess there i i use the falter on purpose because i wanted to gain more chargers and now i'm feeling like we can end the fight look at that special too and look at this special too as you can see man when you get above like 20 prowess that's when it gets kind of insane so let's watch what i did here at the end this is you know I, I, I baited out a special attack here. I said I had a prowess. I said, let me go ahead and let's charge up these charges so I can get to 100. Okay, so I ate a hit into the phase, used the heavy attack, charged the heavy, gained a prowess. Watch this hit. Crazy, man. That was an unbelievable, look at this, unbelievable. Unbelievable special too. Crazy. And that was just one little clip of it. And then you go right into another one just like that. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane when you can ramp this guy up properly in these larger health pools. Because the thing is, once you're ramped, man, you're doing so much freaking damage. The beginning might be a little bit slow. Like, you know, it was kind of, it was slow over here. Yeah, boring, below 10 prowess. But you play safely, and then you start ramping your prowess up. And then out of nowhere, man, it goes from like 0 to freaking 60. Like, this special two man right here, it's just insane. He goes 20% health in Labyrinth is not is not a small amount of health. Watch. Boom. Look at this health bar. And then another special two. And if you had a mutant power booster, it would be crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy sauce, man. So the mutant class is already so OP. So many champions on the screen right now are so OP by themselves. You throw these two on the team, man, and there's just so much that you can do. We haven't even looked at his synergies, man, that he gives to other champions. First and foremost, when he's all the way ramped, right? Plus 25% special attack damage just being on the team, but then at ramp plus 100% special damage. That is so much. <laughs> that is so much. Over here, all, plus 18% to 72% poison resistance for each Cerebro charge. Plus 15%. Um, prowess effect duration up to 60%. That's great for Emma Frost. Once per fight, when a champion would be knocked out, immediately regenerate 7.5% of their max health up to 30% max health. And over here, gain 6% of a bar of power every 10 seconds up to 24%. That's just... <laughs> Over here, this one's really great too. Gain a mental barrier with 2.5% of current health for its cerebral charge, max 10% health. That includes, that includes, um, you know, suicide damage at the beginning, recoil, stuff like that. So yeah. So much this guy can do for himself and for other mutants. Combine him with Apocalypse and you got 
a really strong mutant class going on, man. So yeah, um, Cyber Weekend was really good to me this year. It brought me both Apocalypse and Professor X. Super happy with both of them. Super happy to have both of them up at rank three. At this point, my T4 CC is pretty low, only nine, but I am eyeing both Weapon X and possibly, yes, even Colossus going up to rank three next because I don't like Colossus on his own, but when you make him a horseman and you put him with Professor X, he's pretty darn good, man. You just can't deny it. Uh, but Weapon X is, you know, really cool. He's exclusive. I have him at 660. I do think I would like to get this guy to rank three as well. So yeah, I'm going to have to think about that. But the mutant class is just super duper stacked. I've been holding Catalyst back in case I ever pulled Apocalypse and Professor X. And now that I have them both at rank three, I feel the freedom to rank up the rest of the mutants freely that I want to rank. Um, since the only one I feel like I'm missing now is like Strife, who I don't need right away, and also Kitty Pride. So yeah, but that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop your boy a big old like. Let me know what you think about Professor X at rank three in the comment section below. And make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other future videos coming to you in the future. I'll be seeing you around.